With the horizontal maximum constraint, you can have a child point that looks to two parent points. It remains at a defined horizontal distance to the parent point that is the farthest to the right or has the greatest offset. In this example, we'll right click on point A and edit the point, and we will add a horizontal maximum constraint looking at the points parent 1 and parent 2. We will define a distance of 0. A negative distance would be to the left, a positive to the right. In this case, with a 0 offset, it will stay directly below the point that is to the farthest right. If we move parent 1, we can see that when parent 1 is less than parent 2, it will stay below parent 2. But when parent 1 has a greater horizontal offset than parent 2, the point will follow parent 1. If we right click on A and edit point again and change it to a horizontal minimum, this will cause the point to stay below the parent point that has the smallest offset. When we hit apply, we'll see our component jump to below parent 2 because that has the smallest offset. We will right click and move parent 1. As soon as it has a lesser offset than parent 2, the component will start following parent 1. The vertical maximum and minimum constraints work the same as the horizontal, but in a vertical axis. If we right click on point A and change the constraint to the vertical maximum of parent 1 and parent 2, it will stay at the same offset as the one that has the greater elevation. We can see that it jumped up to parent 1. And if we move parent 1, it'll stay at the greater of parent 1 or parent 2. And vertical minimum would stay at the lower of parent 1 and parent 2.